Hi, welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is the October book haul. There's way more books than I was anticipating there being, partially because I got a whole load of arcs from HarperCollins. It's the UK YA part of HarperCollins, but yeah. So these aren't going to be in any order at all. I'm just going to go with it. First is the Alcrate edition of Vengeful by V. Schwab. It is super pretty. I read it. It's so good. Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Manislo. This is the third in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series with Audrey Rose and Thomas. So good. I cannot wait to read this one. I got a sampler of Fierce Like a Firestorm by Elena Popovic from Harper. I got an arc of Damsel by Eleanor K. Arnold. It sounds really interesting and the cover is so pretty. I got an arc of When We Caught Fire by Anna Gosburn-Burson. It sounds really interesting. It hadn't been on my radar until I saw the email and then I read about it. And it sounds so, so good. I got an arc of The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This is the second in the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue duology and I cannot wait to read it. I got an arc of Soul Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. I'm not sure about this book. I asked for it purely because I want to read Claire's books. I haven't read Fury Born yet, which I really need to do. But yeah, I was like, I have the opportunity to get an arc of this. I really should and read it and see what it's like. Everybody who's read it so far says it's amazing. Then I got the actual copy of Fierce Like a Firestorm by Lana Popovic and it is so pretty. I got Don't Call Me Crazy, which is 33 voices start the conversation about mental health. It's edited by Kelly Jensen and it's got Hannah Bay, Mita Monique Bedard, Kristen Bell, Libba Bray, Gemma Coral, Reed Ewing, Sarah Hannah Gomez, Heidi Hellig, Christine Hefferman, Ashley Holstrom, Sean David Hutchinson, Mary Isabel, SJ Jones, Lisa Jacob, Kelly Jensen, Susan Juby, Mai Chung, Nancy Kerrigan, Stephanie Kuhn, Emery Lord, Emily Mayberry, Millick, Amy Reed, Meredith Rusu, Yumi Sakura, V.E. Schwab, Adam Silvera, S. E. Smith, Jessica Tremaine, S. Sanib Williams, Clint Van Weekel, Dior Vagas, and Esme Weijun Wang. I apologise for butchering most of those names, but yeah, I just really, really wanted to get this just to see more about what's happening with mental health in the world, to see other people's takes on it, like issues with it, etc, etc. And then I got Muse of Nightmares by Lani Taylor. This is the UK edition, so it's got the red sprayed edges. And it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Collector's edition of Six of Crows by Lee Bardogo. It is absolutely stunning. You can see it's foiled. And then it's got red stained edges. It's got no mourners, no funerals on the back. And then each character has got the map. Um, it's got a letter from Lee. It's super pretty. And I'm going to skip juice section. But each character has their own symbol for the top of the chapter. So pretty. The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve. Tocole. This has been on my list for a while and I debated whether to get the hard cover, the US edition or the UK cover and I just thought the UK cover is just so pretty so I had to get it. Uh, Blanca and Rocha by Anna Marie McLemore. So yeah, it's like a take on the ugly duckling story. It sounds really good. It's been on my list for ages. <laughs> the Cage Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. So this is the sequel to The Last Namsara, and it, I think it's like a sequel, but it's also 
kind of a companion novel. It's not a straight follow-on from what I know. We have the Fairy Loot Edition of Mirage. And the Owlcrate Edition of Mirage, both by, obviously both by Samaya Dode. The Fairy Loot Edition is grey with purple sprayed edges and the Owlcrate Edition is a black rather than a purple. They're both so pretty. The Golden Tower, which is the final in the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. And I cannot wait to see how this series wraps up. Times Convert by Deborah Harkness. This is the new book to do with the All Souls trilogy. It's kind of a sequel to it, but I think it also like does flashbacks and time and stuff as well. I got the Doctor Who, The Women Who Lived book partially because I've ended up getting Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls books for one of my nieces and I saw there was a Doctor Who kind of edition coming out and oh my gosh this book is amazing. So it's got New Doctor but it's like all of the characters. So it's got like Martha Jones, it's got Rose Tyler in it, it's got Missy, it's got River Song in it. Um, some of the characters have multiple pages and others just have like one page. Rose Tyler. But it's also got like real life people who are shown in it, if I can now find one. It's so, like because Queen Victoria is in Doctor Who so she gets her own page and it's just so cool how it's got like real life women as well as the characters from Doctor Who as well. It is amazing. And then I say for the end my Illumicrate books that I just got which is a special edition of Strange Dreamer which has gold sprayed edges, they are gorgeous, and Muse of Nightmares which has silver sprayed edges. They look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, that is it for my October book haul. I'm hoping I don't have as many books coming the next couple of months. I'm pretty sure I don't. There's not very much coming out. So yeah, save my pennies. Enjoy the book you're reading and I will speak to you soon.